Yo, what is going on guys? It's Megaverse here, and in today's video we are back playing a toxic deck, because why not? I don't know that it's that toxic. Honestly, E-Giant isn't as broken as it used to be, so it's kind of... It's, I'd probably prefer playing against E-Giant than Goblin Giant at the moment, but... Yeah, we're playing E-Giant Lightning with Bowler and Knight um, and Little Prince, because... I wanted to use Little Prince, but I didn't want to run Minor Control, because Minor Control doesn't need Little Prince, and this was really the only other deck I could think of to play it, other than... Um, gra uh, Giant Graveyard. I mean, I know everything plays it, but as far as decks I wanted to use, um, other than Giant Graveyard, but I want to play Graveyard without it as well. So, I don't know, I kind of just wanted to use one that I wouldn't use without Little Prince, and I found this one. Um, looks like we're playing Hog Rider. I haven't really been paying attention too much to what Ollie's been playing, but yeah, it looks like 2.6, so I feel bad for this guy, but his matchup isn't terrible. Yeah, he can he can cannon and he can. It's unfortunate that's not hitting the musketeer somehow, but oh well. Um, he can cannon, he can log, he can musketeer. Um, obviously, he can't give me too much lightning value, but as long as you separate those two things, you should be fine. Uh, the cannon and the musketeer is what I'm referring to. But yeah, so I basically told you my plans for future videos, I guess. Um, Minor Poison, probably after Graveyard, actually. Just because my last video, before I left, that was actually over a deck, was over Minor Control. Uh, minor Poison, whatever you want to call it. So, I didn't want to do that one right away. My heater finally turned off, so that's good. Um, yeah. 2.6, a... I, I don't know. Who's, it's probably... I don't know. I wanna like I wanted to try to guess the matchup, but I don't know. It kind of feels even. But um, maybe I am wrong, and E Giant just clears. I don't know. I mean, he can fireball log the little princes um, to give it no value, like he did right there. Um, he can cannon off to the side. He can musketeer. High spirit skellies is pretty decent for a quicker cycle. His ice golem could have like kited the knight. Or the little prince, um, if ever needed. Um, or the bowler. So, he has a... Um, assuming I don't need it. So he had a... I feel like he has a lot of good answers. But, at the same time, our bowler is pretty... Is pretty free. He doesn't have reliable DPS. Um, if I keep lightning the musketeer. But, uh, I wasn't going to BM. But, uh, he's going to keep yawning. So, I'm going to... BM back. I never BM anybody unless they start BMing me. Then I gotta give them the cry, cause, you know, they deserve it at that point. Anyways, GG's to that guy. 2.6 is pretty hard to run, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next match. Alrighty. Next game here against Denerd. Um, I've been playing a lot of FIFA lately, and after, like, playing FIFA and then playing this, this, um, I don't know, it just doesn't feel that competitive anymore. Like, I feel like I'm so much more competitive in playing FIFA than I am this. Uh, this guy's really under level, that sucks. But I feel like, yeah, like I said, I feel like I want to win more and people are more toxic on FIFA that, yeah, this doesn't feel as, as bad, you know? You never, like, get messages, because you can't, unless people join your clan, which I have did to somebody um, before. It was actually a good little prince ability. It's gonna DPS it pretty well. Bowler should take care of this. We might add to delivery. I don't think so, but we'll see. Nope, shouldn't have to do anything. It's gonna kill my bowler, though, or put it at one shot. Eh, that's probably a few shots, but still, it's not really... Well, maybe it is worth supporting, because we can NATO if he plays something back, and maybe get some value. I don't know, I didn't want to NATO just the mini P.E.K.K.A., because it's level 10, and I don't know, it just didn't feel didn't feel worth it to me. We only would have got a few shots, because um, everything is obviously dying pretty fast. You can see that barely did any damage to my thing. Even his Goblin Barrel is not level, I mean, high enough level, so I wonder if this is like a new account or something. For this guy, the only thing he has level 12, it looks like, is his P.E.K.K.A. 
Unless I missed something. But I don't think I did. I wanted to play that up high, but I'm worried he's gonna... Um... Yeah, do something like that. This is great lightning value, by the way. Um, should full counter and not even get a swing on our cannon. I actually have had that interaction more than once, surprisingly. Wizard P.E.K.K.A. happens more than you would think. Um, and also, I love lightning. It's my favorite spell. Because uh, it's actually useful. Um, as far as like killing troops, it can like do anything against anything. Especially mid ladder. I feel like lightning mid ladder is so so good because it kills witches and wizards um, in one shot so like I don't know I never see a reason not to use it he might lose his tower on the other side I'm gonna lightning that anyway uh, maybe we could have just natoed but and now the P.E.K.K.A. is gonna three shot it I think maybe four well four and he gave it that last hit so we can really go either lane right now uh, I got a pop ability. I don't know if it pushes off anymore. Yeah, it doesn't. I have to delivery that. Well, I don't have to. King Tower probably could have taken care of it, but... Might as well not take too much damage. We could probably Lightning Cycle, to be completely honest, because all he has is... Um, Goblin Barrel, but... You know, I'm just gonna do this, and since he cycled P.E.K.K.A. the other lane, I don't think he can stop it. He'll probably mini P.E.K.K.A. That's kind of what I'm trying to wait for, but I'm just gonna... Send it should get enough damage, and we don't really have to worry about that, Becca, because yeah, we could spell cycle at that point. Anyways, I was I was rambling there for a while. I don't know, I don't know even know what I was talking about. Anyways, GG's to that guy. Pretty interesting deck, and I will see you guys in the third match. I think this is third. I I don't remember. <laughs> oh well. Um. Kind of an awkward starting hand. I don't really like cycling any of these. But I feel like I shouldn't need giant first play ever. Um, you could, and I honestly don't think you would get too punished for it. I mean, in this case, I might have, because he had E-Barb's archers. Um, but yeah, delivery would have been fine for that. We could have tried to just nade it over. I mean, there was a lot of ways to answer that, but Night Cannon wasn't too bad. And even Elixir Trade, plus we took care of the archers. So, I feel like I should be up a little bit. I'm not positive on that with the Skelly Drags. I thought I was, but then I was trying to think, because I spent Bowler. I spent Bowler Cannon Knight. He spent Archer Z Barbs and Skelly Drags. So, it was closer than I was expecting. We still got a ton of damage, though. We're already down to a thousand. So I might have been slightly right, but he didn't have his DPS um, in cycle. I mean, he might have another one, but... Yeah, Bowler actually does really well against Battle Ram because of the pushback. So it's something you can do if you haven't already been doing it. Of course, if they're running Magic Archer, you know, do not do that. <laughs> I guess I wasn't positive he didn't have Magic Archer, so maybe I should have needed that into the tower. But yeah, this still isn't going to work. Delivery. I'm not even sure we need the knight, honestly. But doing it anyways. Going to give him the well played because, you know, you can see what his strategy is. Already, I haven't seen rage yet. I'm a little shocked. This isn't going to push off, I don't think. Yeah. You'd have to, I think to get it to push off, you'd have to play it like, I'd have to preemptively do it and he would have to play it in front. I don't think anywhere off to the side works anymore. I know the pushback got nerfed. Uh, the bowler really took its time on that shot, but it didn't get any damage either way. But I don't know why why he was stalling. Should have just threw it. Uh, it doesn't look like Evo Archers, honestly. I'm, I can't confirm that. But yeah, I'm waiting. Kind of waiting, expecting uh, that knight came down late. Expecting the E-Barb, that's what I was going to say. He did play them into my E-Giant, so he's learning. Uh, is that a lightning range? Might be. This push is going to get disintegrated almost just by the delivery alone. I'm interested if I didn't have the bowler there, how much damage I would have took. I mean, I think E-G-Barb would have got a shot, probably, but I think that's it. 
And this NATO should kill the Skelly Durings. Yeah, so there's no way this doesn't break through. It could have Lightning Day, I guess, as well. But might as well make it take a little longer. Get some watch time. Or the opposite, get people to click off. I don't know. Either way, um, yeah, GG's to that guy. Some sort of E-Barb's deck, and I will see you guys in the final match. Alrighty, final match here against Santi. I don't know why that made me laugh. Just imagine that's what somebody calls Santa. But, I don't know, it's kind of awkward what you should actually cycle behind your King Tower. Um, like, if it was like, I forget, can champions be in the starting cycle? Why don't I remember that? Oh, that's not good. I think they, I'm, I'm almost certain they can, but I don't want to just be blatantly wrong about that. But like, you could cycle your little prince in the bank, it wouldn't be an issue. You could probably get away with cycling your, well, your knight always. Um, you could probably get away with cycling your bowler. But little prince is a little awkward because it's pretty much your only, I mean, it's to say only air card is a bit of a stretch. You have a lightning delivery and NATO, so, and e giant that can all deal damage to air. But like, if I went little prince and he went opposite lane, like, Ice Golem Balloon. Um, it would be a little awkward to defend. Like, yeah, I could delivery and try to DPS it down, but we would also have to um, wait until the Ice Golem is finished and, like, you know, from some of these decks, hope it's not Freeze. Like, I guess Lumberloon Freeze would be the worst case scenario um, when you cycle your little prince, but I haven't seen anybody running that yet. Granted, we've only played, what are we at, seven matches so far. This will be my eighth since I came back, so I'm not sure how popular it is. I never thought it was that popular anyway, but it always has, like, huge usage rates. I thought he was going to do something with that. Kind of a bad delivery. I'm going to take this great lightning, though. Um, got a few shots. I guess maybe we should have popped ability, but I wanted that lightning too bad. Uh, he's got a hog with this. Yeah, so this is Hoggy Q. It's actually a meta deck, surprisingly enough. I haven't seen anything out of the normal. Probably a terrible NATO. Um, I wanted to guarantee no damage. Er, yeah, I wanted, I wanted to make sure the hog got no damage, but I don't think it would have got damage anyways. Firecracker's really annoying. We don't really have a good spell for it. Um, we can't just lightning it without anything else there. We could lightning it with the Tesla always, but other than that... Not really much. He keeps sending stuff to protect it, but delivery does a great job. This is gonna get some damage. One hit. Yeah, that's fine. Um, and now he has to defend this. He knows the lightning's coming. Still plays everything into it. We did that last time. I'm kind of surprised he played his Tesla in lightning range and his... Um, both things in lightning range. Now he has to cycle back to one. I don't think he'll have a problem cycling back. Yeah, he's actually already there. Um, but I don't think he can defend this? Maybe I'm wrong. It's not even going to kill the firecracker. Yeah. Uh, lightning. Just to guarantee we take tower. And God, I'm burping. Ugh. Sorry about that. And GG's to that guy. I'll give him the good game while play. He's not crying, so... Yeah, you can kind of see this deck just kind of... Um, it's really easy to play. I don't think it's very skillful at all. But it's easy to play, you know, you just E-Giant and defend and then E-Giant at the right time. And yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.